Alright, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of Batman Arkham Knight. We have um, taken care of the Cloudburst and Scarecrow's uh, Fear Toxin, though uh, the Arkham Knight himself has kind of disappeared off into the night, oddly enough. Um, and we are kind of wanting to go after Scarecrow himself. Now, there's no other side missions to do, aside from anything we might encounter on the way. So, without any further ado, let's get to it. Well, let us set our marker. Well, okay, to be fair, I could do the mines, but those things are a pain in the ass and I don't want to. And I can't do the Riddler final exam until I have the remote electrical charge, which I don't have yet. So, main mission it is. I'm heading to GCPD to investigate the transmission sent on a SWAT channel from within the city. Fingers crossed, sir. It shed some light on Scarecrow's whereabouts. That still looks cool every time. Okay, okay, we'll join a couple of rides, but I can't be out all night. It's my turn to watch the kids tomorrow. <laughs> You know, these vantage points still intrigue me. Why are there vantage points in the GCPD? I'm still going under the theory that I'm going to have to fight my way out of here at some point. Thanks, Batman. I didn't think we are going to make it back there. You're welcome. And this officer's a Riddler informant. The fools in here actually think you're winning. Deluded, Batman. They must get it from you. Not that way, this way. Gotham ain't going down yet, Batman. Thanks to you. Want me to even up that fate, Mr. Attorney? Nothing burns like injustice. Oh, those guys. Pig is still being creepy as hell. Tell me about this broadcast. Wish I could, sir, but it's on a SWAT channel. Encrypted. Those boys really don't like anyone listening in. I'm in. Hey, will you read me? It's Jim. I need you to send through some blueprints. I found Crane. And that bastard's going to die for what he did to my little girl. Was that the commissioner? What's he doing? Getting himself killed. But I've got the ID number of the radio he's using, and that means I can track him. Track down Gordon and work with him to take down Scarecrow. Uh. Is that all? I've decoded a radio transmission. It's Gordon. He's alive! I need you to isolate the radio's frequency and pinpoint its location. Of course, sir. The transmission appears to have originated from an abandoned shopping mall. The building has been without power for some time, sir. You may well encounter some obstacles. The remote electrical charge prototype is being held in the GCPD evidence room. That should help. Very well, sir. I'm sure Officer Cash will understand. 
Hey, what do you know? That's just the device I've been looking for. Doesn't seem real, Batman. I can't imagine what Jim's gonna do. Barbara was everything to him. Okay, this is actually interesting. I've not, I don't think I've been in this room before. They've got displays from several of the villains. Direct with the penguin display. One top had an umbrella with, yep, a hidden blade inside. Owned by Oswald Cobblepot, AKA the penguin. God bless penguin. Gotham changes, new freaks come and go, but you can always count on that vicious little cockney to be up to something. <laughs> He's got a point. Harley Quinn display. One modified flare gun. One machine gun haphazardly duct taped to a grenade launcher. And one good old fashioned baseball bat. All used by Dr. Harley Quinzel, aka Harley Quinn. Without Joker around, Harley took over the clown's old gang. It was never gonna last. One pig mask and butcher's knife. Used by Laszlo Valentine, a.k.a. Professor Pig. This guy's new. Mutilates his victims in order to make them perfect. I think I'm pretty enough already, thanks. <laughs> Nicely said, Cash. Flamethrower and jetpack worn by Garfield Lens, aka Firefly. <sighs> Why can't Gotham have a normal pyromaniac, you know? Why does ours have to fly? <laughs> Militia assets. militia. I don't know who's paying for this stuff, but they've got deep pockets. These boys are well equipped. That's a little bold. Riddler, putting a Riddler trophy right in the GCPD. One hell of a lot of money. Stolen from various Bank of Gotham branches across the city. I'll count this when I get time. Alright, off to why we're actually here. Oh, there you are. Look, it's my stuff. So this is my memorial, huh? <sighs> Not even a statue. They think they can just file me away, don't they? I've been sent back for a reason, Bruce, and no one's forgetting me this time around. Apologies for that slight hiccup. My uh, controller ran out of battery power. Got a new one now. One black mask worn by Black Mask, aka Roman Sionis. Sionis never really recovered from the night of the Black Gate riots, the night Joker showed up. Roman was an old school gangster. Joker, well, I'm not sure what he was. Thank you. 
Talia. I'm sorry. One Tommy gun, used by Peyton Riley, a.k.a. the ventriloquist. Or maybe the gun belongs to the puppet. I never really understood what's going on there. <laughs> sent to Arkham on an insanity plea. He lost a few things other than his mind while there. Made the new look work, though, I gotta say. One mask and jacket worn by Anarchy, a.k.a. Lonnie Machin. I wasn't even a cop when this kid tried to hit Gotham. No one's seen him since. No one knows where they're keeping him. I guess the government don't like anarchists too much. One freeze ray, used by Mr. Freeze, a.k.a. Victor Freeze. We, uh, had to stop playing with this after the commissioner caught us making ice cream. Freeze has kept quiet since leaving Arkham City. Maybe Batman finally talked some sense into him. One ventriloquist dummy, a.k.a. Scarface. This ain't the original Scarface. It's a Joker knockoff. Don't ask me why. But the clown took a liking to these creepy things. One stuffed bear in a canister of Titan formula. Owned by Bane, a.k.a. Unknown. <sighs> we had to let Bane loose after the Arkham City fallout. Guy was messed up anyway. Serious Titan withdrawal. My guess, he's off somewhere getting clean. And he's not going to be happy when he comes back. One vial of Titan formula. One set of wind-up explosive false teeth. One pair of actual X-ray specs. One toy gun loaded with one toy flag and five real bullets. All used by the Joker. No known alias. It's one hell of a toy box. I'm glad no one's gonna play with it again. This ain't right, Brucey. My stuff's not meant to be gawked at. That gun should be out there sticking up old ladies. That dynamite should be bringing the roof down on a kindergarten. All that senseless misery going to waste. One custom tailored top hat, worn by Jervis Tetch. Do you know how long it takes to make an explosive set of chattering teeth? I hope you enjoyed the joke. I did it all for you. He got the Wonderland kicked out of him instead. I hated letting him go. This guy's too creepy to stay free. Joker, you interrupted. Two ceremonial swords used by Rosh. I mean, Rish al Ghul. We found these at the bottom of Wonder Tower the night of Protocol 10. They were covered in blood. No body, though. Are we... Are any of us surprised by that? Don't think so. One Arkham Asylum branded shock collar. Worn by Killer Croc, a.k.a. Waylon Jones. We found this thing in the sewers under Arkham City. And that ain't good, because it was supposed to keep that bastard under control. One rifle and two wrist-mounted guns, used by Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot. <sighs> Another guy we had to let go after Arkham City got shut down. Still, that doesn't mean he got his toys back. One pair of shock gloves, worn by the Electrocutioner, a.k.a. Lester Buczynski. Joker hired this guy on the night of the Black Gate riots, and then he killed him. I heard Batman borrowed these for a while before handing them in. I guess he prefers beating up punks the old-fashioned way. Well, here's the Batman display. It wants me to break the glass. Let's do that.
Okay, now I can go after Jim. <laughs> Very subtle. I know this is the evidence room, Bruce, but you could have tried to cover your tracks. Interact with REC display. I don't know what it's referring to there. Let's try it. One electric charge gun used by Batman, a.k.a. We don't like to ask. Batman dropped this here with the rest of the Arkham City evidence. Nice to have some of Batman's gear in the evidence room. Hope he doesn't ask for it back. Alright. Well, I got it back. I ain't stopping him. Don't look at me. <laughs> Let me tell you a secret. You haven't seen the last of them. He's going to find you, and when he does, he's going to rip out your heart. You'll find him. I know it. Good luck out there, Batman. What was that? I'm guessing it was a uh, audio glitch in the game. Well, now that we have the remote electrical charge, we can actually do Riddler's final test. Or final exam, or whatever he called it. Let's do that! Now's my chance to free Selina from the orphanage. This sick game has gone on long enough. Agreed, sir. Best of luck. cared about you. Good thing we got off the street in time before that crap was released. One way to look at it. I don't see Catwoman. I wonder where she is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Final exam. Cute, shall we? Yes, let's. This is it. One last hoop to jump through. Then I'm free to rob Gotham blind. I mean, you know, make sure everyone got out. I'll check the art galleries first. Classic Catwoman. 
Uh, before we do that though, I just want to take a quick look at the remote electrical charge, make sure I know the controls. So, pretty standard. Got it. There's the key box. I have a funny feeling it's not supposed to be open just yet. Meet the Riddle Square! A puzzle which draws influence from both late 20th century puzzle cubes and mid 15th century torture devices. Torture devices. If Eddie wanted us to play a game of life size chess, he could have left us more pieces. I don't think that was the idea. Let's take a look around, make sure we fully understand where we are. Oh good, he doesn't want us to go in. Guess I'll be heading home then, Eddie? There'll be a way in. Presumably not over the spinny, sharp, pointy things. My game when you've already been barred. Oh. Already play my play my game. Well, those are electromagnets or um, generators. What happens when I shoot at one? Perhaps you're looking at this conundrum the wrong way. And no, you cannot tunnel under it either. So the obvious answer is that you go above it. Riddler security console. Interesting. Can you find a way in? So, what does this do? Hmm.
So we can get in as Catwoman. Interesting. So what happens if I step on a button? What's betting this thing hurts me? Yep. So that's not something I want to do. So, what now? There's a baby carriage there. Again, do not want to be under that. What happens if I go to where the, both of the ducks are facing? Which I think is... No, not here. some of the cubes from moving when I fire the charge. I'm guessing that'd be my job. Oh! I get it. So when I'm standing on this button here, it locks that cube in place. So now what I can do... So by doing that, I've pushed those cubes away. Except I was on the wrong one. So let's try this again. Because I have a funny feeling this uh, laser, we want it to be not blocked by a cube. Now let's cut to the best part. Selena, watch out! Get ready! Intensify proceedings. Intensify proceedings. So now we have two lasers that we have to um, unblock. You will not win this. Yeah, I think I will. So 
So there's one laser through. Now we got to do the other one. Without, um... Oh, this is going to be easy. Ta-da! Still not a riddle, Eddie. You just haven't figured it out yet. This is it. This is the end. end. The final riddle. So, two lasers that we gotta get through. Let's see, what's going to be the best way to do this? going to be, I think, fairly straightforward, actually. Maybe not so much. Actually, maybe. I think I have an idea. Right, Catwoman's on that one, so I don't want her on that one. Is that magnet not drawing this one? Bizarre. All right, not a problem.
Ta-da! It's done. Keys by the entrance. Let's go. Oh, you smooth talker, you. Give me a second to compose myself. But this is Riddler we're talking about, so of course, uh, it's never simple, is it? Would you do the honors? The worst thing about this was, it looked cheap. Well, Hanson, what are we waiting for? What's that you say, progress tracker? There's two more objectives? Well, this episode's gone a little bit long. So before we find out what Riddler has in store for us, I'm going to call the episode there. I hope you join me next time, and uh, we'll figure it out together. See you then.